Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. In our series of chatting with NPCs, where I took a year to conversate with each NPC once per day, I talked to Farmer Ben here. Now Farmer Ben seems to be mostly designed to give helpful advice related to farming. So he's got a lot of information to say about crops and how to work the land. To that end, I've split this video up into two segments just for the sake of length. So the first segment, we're gonna do a video on what Farmer Ben has to say about crops. And then in part two, we're gonna have another video as to what Farmer Ben has to say about working the soil. I need help with field work. How do I increase the yield? You run a farm, so it would be nice to optimize your profits, right? To maximize your profits, you need to increase the yield of your crops. There are several ways to achieve that. You can plow, apply lime, fertilize, mulch, use soil rollers, eradicate weeds, and remove field stones. Any action that improves your yield will increase your income by a certain percentage. It depends on the crop and other factors and what you can and should do, however. Not every crop requires plowing. Sometimes weeds aren't an issue, and field stones may or may not appear on the ground. When we discuss individual crops, I can tell you step by step what to look for. If you don't improve your yield because you don't have the time or the money, it's not the end of your farm. Don't worry. You can skip yield improvement if you need to, but don't make a habit out of it. Can you tell me more about fertilizing? How does fertilizing work? Fertilizing is easy, but keep in mind there are different types of fertilizers. Solid, liquid, there are even so-called catch crops you plant for the purpose of fertilizing. Generally, you should apply fertilizer twice during the growth of your crops. If you do it twice, the yield will be even higher. Just keep in mind, there has to be a stage of growth between both applications. Of course, as always in life, there is an exception to the rule. If you use manure and slurry for fertilization, you can make a double application. One pass, twice the manure. What types of fertilizer are there? Depending on the type of fertilizer you want to use, different machinery is required. Solid fertilizer, used in combination with fertilizer spreaders, is one of the cheapest ways to fertilize in the beginning. Liquid fertilizer is used in combination with sprayers instead of spreaders. The purchase price is usually higher. Slurry and manure are produced by your cows and pigs. You need a slurry tank attached to your tractor or a manure spreader to fertilize your fields. If you want to know how to produce fertilizer efficiently, talk to Katie. As our local animal farmer, she knows more about it. Digestate is a free byproduct you get when you sell manure or silage to the biogas plant. You can use it as fertilizer, similar to manure, by using a manure tanker. Here's something special, catch crops, a great way to fertilize your fields. You can get one level of fertilization by planting oilseed radish. Cultivate over the oilseed when it's fully grown to fertilize your soil. Then, simply plant your regular crop in the field. That's it. Choose your fertilizer wisely and, depending on what type of operation you run, beginners should go for solid fertilizer applied with a spreader. I need help with plowing and cultivating. What's the difference between plows and cultivators? It's not that complicated. I oversimplify a bit, but plows go deep into the soil and bring the lower levels of the soil to the top. Also, you can make new fields with the plow. Cultivating is the process of loosening the top layer of soil. Cultivating is usually enough to prepare your field for sowing. It's also much faster than plowing. If you harvested root crops like potatoes, for example, you need to get deeper into the soil. Therefore, what do you use? Right, a plow. Also, to 
Depending on what type of plow or cultivator you use, different sized stones will appear on your field. Both plows and cultivators have an impact on your yield. What types of plows are there? There are regular plows, spaders, and subsoilers. Regular plows have high power requirements for tractors and a low operating speed. You can also create new fields with them or combine multiple fields. Using a plow will prevent weeds from growing and increase the yield for the next harvest. Small stones will appear on the fields. Spaders are pretty much the same as regular plows. They do not prevent weeds from growing, but they do increase the yield for the next harvest. Subsoilers are a nice alternative to plows. They move much faster and use less power, but you can't plant fields with them and they won't prevent weeds from growing. Also, large stones will appear. What types of cultivators are there? Okay, listen, now it gets funky, but stay with me. There are regular cultivators, shallow cultivators, disc harrows, and power harrows, as well as direct sowing machines that can also cultivate. Regular and shallow cultivators are mostly the same, but shallow cultivators will not dig up stones at all. You get small stones with regular cultivators, however. Disc harrows require less tractor power, have a lower price, and a higher working speed compared to regular cultivators. They won't dig up stones, but weeds will grow faster. A power harrow is also quite cheap, but needs more tractor power, and usually the working width is lower. If you want as few steps in the field as possible, a direct sowing machine can cultivate, seed, and even fertilize at the same time. It's an investment, and you'll need a powerful tractor, but you'll save a lot of time. How and when do I plow? Generally, it's a good idea to plow after every third harvest. That's called periodic plowing. But if you grow root crops like potatoes, carrots, parsnips, beets, sugar beets, and corn, there are roots left deep in the soil. You should plow after every harvest. You can use plows, but I recommend subsoilers because they are a faster option. It's easy to use any of them. Lower them into the soil and put the pedal to the metal. If you want to create or combine fields, activate the field creation feature of a plow. That's it. How and when do I cultivate? Cultivating is easy. Usually, you need to cultivate the field before sowing, so your crops can properly grow. Compared to plowing, cultivating is done much faster. Just attach the cultivator to the tractor and go. You can also use a subsoiler as an alternative. I need help with seeding and planting. How do I plant or sow? Most people think sowing is the first step when growing their crops. Well, that assumption is wrong. Just like food is not magically created in the supermarket. Here's how it usually works. First, you plow or cultivate your field. Done that? Good. Then, fill your seeder or planter, depending on what crop you want to grow. You need to buy either a big bag of seeds or pallets of saplings. A big bag will contain all the seeds you need. Position the seeder or planter beside the resources to fill the machine. After that, when filling seeds from a big bag, you will need to tell the machine which seeds you want to use. Head over to the field, position yourself at one corner, lower the machine in the ground, activate it, and sow or plant row after row. If that isn't easy, then what is? I need help getting rid of weeds. Why should I get rid of weeds? They are unwanted. That's why. They compete with your crops for sunlight, water, nutrients, and space, and represent a potentially high yield loss. Obviously, you want your farm to run at a profit. The higher, the better. Big machines don't pay themselves, newbie. 
This means weed control is not only beneficial, but crucial. The sooner you do it, the better. As weeds grow taller, they become more difficult and expensive to remove. I know it can be difficult, especially as a new farmer when you have multiple fields and need to move quickly. If this were a simulation, I would recommend turning off weeds in the game settings, but life isn't that simple. How do weeds grow? There are different stages of weed growth, small, medium, and large. Depending on their size, you need to use different machinery. Weeds can be removed at any time before the crops are ready to be harvested. Small weeds grow very soon after sowing or planting. You'll notice green patches. Those little troublemakers will multiply quickly. If you don't get rid of them now, your field gets infested, and it will only get harder to remove them. Medium-sized weeds become visually more diverse and appear in higher density. Large weeds mature into even higher and blooming flowers. While they are easily distinguishable from your crops up close, they may be harder to see from a distance, depending on the crop and how high it is in your field. Now is the time to act, and it's your last chance. Your crop income will take a significant hit if you deliver it with weeds. How do I remove weeds? There are three tools to remove weeds from your fields. Mechanical weeders, hoes, and sprayers. They are used in different growth stages. If your crop has actually started to grow, I recommend using a tractor with narrow tires. Otherwise, you do damage to your crops. Use a weeder against small weeds, a hoe against medium-sized weeds, and a sprayer with herbicide to deal with large weeds. Weeders and hoes work pretty much like cultivators. Drive to your field, lower the machine, and start driving. Get every weed plant on the field. Sprayers are similar to fertilizer spreaders. First, you need to fill them with herbicide. After that, you can start applying the liquid onto the field. I hope I don't have to tell you that you should avoid using herbicide if you can. Herbicide is a consumable, therefore it's costly, same as the sprayer itself. As a field sprayer is often a last resort, you don't necessarily have to own one. You can lease it when you need it. I need help with soil and grass rolling. What is soil and grass rolling? There are two different types of rollers soil rollers, and grass rollers. Although they look similar, there's a difference. Soil rollers are used after sowing, when the field is already cultivated and the seeds are in the ground. They condense the soil and therefore increase its quality and the yield. Grass rollers are used after mowing grass. If the grass is harvested, you roll over what's left to prepare for the next growth cycle. By doing this, it's like you're fertilizing the field. But keep in mind, if you roll over matured grass, its growth stage will reset. It'll grow back though. It's quick and fun, so there's no harm in doing it if you have the time. It's not a substantial gain though. It's okay to skip it if you want. How do I use rollers? Using a roller is fairly easy. You attach them to your tractor, unfold them, lower them to the ground, and start rolling. Some rollers have two connection points. One is for transport only. After unfolding, another connection becomes available to use on the field. You have to attach it from the other side to use the roller on the field. Okay, let's roll, kid. I need help with mulching. Why should I mulch? By applying a layer of cut biological material to the soil, you improve the soil, and therefore, the yield of your crops. It's what some home gardeners do to their little flowers in the front yard, too. Just more professional. You won't get rich by mulching, but if you got the time and the machine to do it, you should. It's like a 2.5% improvement of your yield. 
What type of mulchers are there? There are three types of mulching. Mulching stubble, mulching between vines and groves, and forestry mulching. You can use a mulcher on any crop that leaves stubble, such as wheat, barley, oat, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. Use it after harvesting, but before you cultivate the field for the next growing season. When growing grapevines or olive groves, you mulch after cultivating and grass has begun to grow. You basically cut back the grass to prevent weeds from growing. They also keep everything looking nice and clean, which is essential for proper vineyards. There's also a forestry mulcher available at the dealership. This is used to remove bushes, branches, and stumps after harvesting. If you're interested in forestry, talk to our local lumberjack, Noah. If he's not too busy looking for the guy who left an empty can of frizzy spiz in the forest again. How do I use mulchers? Using a mulcher is fairly easy. You attach it to your tractor, lower it into the field, and turn it on. Just drive over the stubble, grass, or branches and bushes. The material will get cut and applied to the surface of the fields. If you mulched the stubble or leftover crops on the field, you can proceed with the usual steps to grow new crops. That's it. It doesn't get any harder than that. One of the reasons why mulching is fun. I need help with field stones. What are field stones? As you may know already, your ground contains stones. These do not affect your soil properties or crops and yield. That's the good news. The bad news is they may damage certain machines. While seeders, planters, and weeders can handle the presence of these rocky field invaders, your harvester is at risk of taking damage. Harvester headers are supposed to cut plants, not rocks. Makes sense, doesn't it? When do field stones emerge? Stones are the result of plowing and cultivating. Depending on the machine, the size of the stones will vary. For example, a regular cultivator will dig up small stones, a shallow cultivator, none at all. A plow will also dig up small stones, but a subsoiler will dig up large stones. It really depends on the machine and how it operates. How do I remove field stones? There are two ways to get rid of stones soil rolling, and stone picking. With soil rolling, only small stones will be pushed back into the soil. To remove medium-sized and large stones, you need a stone picking tool. Collecting them is not as fast as soil rolling, of course, but you are compensated when delivering them to the rock crusher to sell them. It's not much, but your machines are safe, the stones are gone, and you are at least a tiny bit financially rewarded, too. You can collect small stones, too, but, of course, it's not lucrative and takes more time. Better use a soil roller. It's like I always say, sticks and stones won't break my bones, but maybe my machines. So get rid of them. Hope you took some notes, kid. How's it going, newbie? Hey, what's up, newbie? 